Hello, this is Sven Emmers. Uh, I'm with the Embedded Business Unit here at Micron, and I will give you a brief DDR5 technology update. The DDR5 is a new interface really optimized for power and performance. Uh, some of the leading DDR5 applications are servers, data centers, and of course, notebooks. For the embedded space, uh, IPCs uh, will have a great solution in DDR5 for high density DIMMs, uh, significant power reduction, and also very much applicable for automotive uh, applications like ADAS and, and vehicle entertainment for high data rates and also a significant power reduction. Also, the IoT space will benefit uh, further power savings and also performance increases to address the future applications. Uh, DDR5 is really the next major standard versus DDR4. Uh, introduction is expected to be in the first half of calendar year 21. Again, uh, reduced power, increased data rates are the key points. Uh, the key improvements over DDR4 are really the data rate is 2x, uh, up to 6.4 gigabits per second. Lower power consumption and the starting density for DDR5 is going to be 16 gigabit. Uh, really, again, ideal memory for a variety of applications. Uh, in the embedded application space, IPCs, IoT, uh, artificial intelligence, uh, machine learning, medical and automotive. Uh, we're going to have a wide product portfolio offering, uh, DIMMs, components, and wafers. Micron's embedded business is really for 25 plus years a leader in the market. Uh, we're going to offer a comprehensive product portfolio on DDR5 uh, components. Uh, by 4 by 8 uh, two different ball configurations that we are going to offer, 78 ball and 82 ball. And for a by 16 configuration, uh, it's going to be a new uh, 1 or 2 ball uh, package, different pan out uh, versus the uh, 4. Uh, in terms of DRAM modules in the embedded space, we will, of course, offer all popular form factors, RDIMS, SODIMS, UDIMS. Uh, also, we are going to have uh, a couple of other form factors, that we are going to support. And we will also support wafer sales, C1 wafers, 200 millimeter in size. That's what we're going to offer long-term in the embedded space. If we're gonna go more on the system level, uh, mainstream memory is really data five that maximizes the effective bandwidth. And if you look at some of the system level uh, uh, performance, key drivers, the definition and development of DDR5 Micron is really positioned to deliver an evolutionary step up in memory technology that will enable the next generation data center and servers. Uh, DDR5 will be required to supply the bandwidth needed for this exponentially increasing processor core count in the data center. Ever increasing and complex data sets as well as applications like artificial intelligence training and inference will continue to drive the need for those processor cores up. In terms of the uh, performance increase, it's really uh, versus DDR4. DDR5 provides a 2x performance increase, 2x in terms of data rates up to 6,400 megabits per second, burst lengths, bank loop, and also banks. Uh, improved refresh granularity, uh, it's the same bank refresh, but two independent 40 bit channels per RDIM, 64 bytes per channel. In terms of uh, effective bandwidth, uh, in terms of simulation, DDR4 versus DDR5. You can see at the same data rate, uh, 3200, we have a 1.36x uh, increase from 16.8 to 22.8 gigabytes per second. And if you use a higher data rate on DDR5, you have a much more effective bandwidth gain of 1.87x uh, uh, from 16.8 gigabytes per second on DDR4 at 3200 uh, to 31.4 gigabytes per second at DDR5 at 4800. Uh, in terms of uh, total cost of ownership, uh, you have a significant 25% lower cost over five years. If you look at the uh, server model, uh, you're going from $1 per gigabyte per second down to 0.75 cents gigabyte per second, so a significant uh, cost reduction over time. And um, if you have any additional uh, information that you would like to review, uh, please go to micron.com. Uh, we have uh, a couple landing pages for DDR5 insights. Uh, please review it if you have uh, a new uh, design project that's coming up for you uh, where you may want to uh, look at DDR5 as a next generation memory uh, solution. And with this, uh, thank you for watching. 
And again, uh, please visit myfriend.com for additional information. Thank you.